Okay. Current project. Icarus. And I have got this massive bundle of well, I can't remember what it's called. I just searched for um I just searched for packaging because I knew what I wanted and it was this, this stuff. Um but so I searched for this on the internet and I found a huge massive stack. So what I'm doing with this is I'm cutting it into strips and then I am making sort of a gentle generic featherish shape which I will then sort of stack together to make wings but first yeah cutting all this <laughs> into feathers let's go And it is at roughly this point in the video that anybody coming here looking for a professional, accurate cosplayer who does things properly, sensibly, and in a way that you could reasonably well copy um, should realise that they were sorely mistaken in coming to my channel. Um, welcome to the chaos of me, my life, and this. Alright, so... This... Gives me what I need to do with wear. And this is the harness. Oh yeah, this is my, this is the outfit so far. I think I might get rid of the lace on the bottom. This is just like a really old skirt I found in a thrift store that I have turned into a sort of Greek toga kind of thing. And I might, this is my harness. I've had this for a long time. I used this for a friend's Caleb costume. Um, yeah, I think I might remove the lace. But anyway, so wings. I started to make the basic shape with so much wire. I have an endless box of wire, just so much wire. And I made the basic shape, stuck it on the wall, because, you know, how else do you do this? Is there a professional way to do this? The people who actually make wings for a living probably have, like, you know, a better way of doing this. But I stuck mine to the wall. And then I took all of those lovely wing shapes that I cut out earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier, folks! And I started layering them up along the wings just to see how they would look. I realised that I am going to need quite a few layers. One, to make sure I've got the thickness that I want and they go as far down and up as I want. So I added some much longer ones to begin with so they could start to layer up across the bottom. And then I thought I would cut them down a little bit. So start with the longer ones, attach a second layer like this, and then eventually build up to the shorter ones on top, if nothing else, so that it would cover up the wire and you wouldn't be able to see through. And this is the first half of the wings when they were halfway done. So I've got my three different layers, the top, the middle and the bottom, and I've started the first layer on the other side. Here they all are super thick and floofy. Just look at them, they're so thick and floofy! I, I need to floof these wings. I need to floof them. Look, look at the floof! Floof! Oh, I cut out so many of these! And I still have so much of that packing stuff left. I remember these beautiful wings that I spent time on and I have made painstakingly and I have put all the pieces together and done that. Yeah, it's time to wreck them.
and wrecking them so that they look as if the hot wax has started to burn down them and they're all messed up. And uh, so far, we have this. <laughs> it looks like they've been bled on, which I think kind of adds to the aesthetic. Okay, while the wax, <laughs> the later, while the wax is drying, I am now going over the edges uh, with some brown and some black to make it look like the feathers have been burning. I'm not going to do it to all of them. Hi, doggy. Hi, he's helping. I'm not going to do it to all of them, but I am going to do it to especially the top few layers. So the bottom ones will be okay, but like here where the wax is hitting the most. I still haven't added the black yet, but like these ones I think look okay. They sort of look like they've been burned around the edges. So that is what I am doing now. So this is the fabric I got to be the backdrop and I really love it. I wanted to get the aesthetic of sort of falling back into a churning ocean and I reckon this will do. I both love and hate having a cosplay chest. I hate it because it was expensive and it doesn't entirely fit me. Um, but there's nothing any sizing can do about that. It's just the neck is massive. I have like pinned it at the back. So if any magical person out there knows how to make the neck smaller, because never in my life have I regretted having a thin neck as much as I do now, uh, that'd be great. Also, I am terrified of getting anything on it because cleaning it is a bastard. Uh, but so far, uh, I have just finished shooting a bunch of shit and it actually looks okay. So uh, yeah, this is um, this is the background I have got. I will try and use it for other things. It was only like a fiver, but it's pretty damn cool. I am loving this. And uh, yeah, so I've been basically doing this for an hour. Falling into it. So yeah, I'm going to go and um, attempt to take... <laughs> Can you see all of this? I'm going to attempt to take all of this off um, before I take the silicone off because um, this, this has already got stains on it, but I don't want it to get any worse. So yeah. Hold please. <laughs> I have got a bunch of ideas of different cosplays that I would like to do this year. Um, some of the money for which was raised by you wonderful people. And I am just gonna take this opportunity to let you know that the three that I currently have planned that I have been posting about um, mostly for Patreons to see. Um, I've got Icarus that I've just finished. I've got the Grave Robber from Repo the Genetic Opera. And I've got my Lucian that I designed myself from Critical Role. Now, originally Grave Robber was gonna be my February cosplay. And then I was gonna do Lucian in March, however, because, spoilers for anyone watching Critical Role, because I just have the feeling that the arc with Lucian may be coming to an end soon and he may not be around, dead or alive, soon. I'd quite like to get his cosplay finished soon rather than later, so I am pushing Grave Robber back here as well. Let's face it, all that content's gonna flop anyway. I'm just making it for the love of it. And I am bringing Lucian forward. So Icarus was January, Lucian is now February. Grave Robber is gonna be March. And then I've got a bunch of other ideas that I will tell you about for April, May, June, July, etc. And at some point I'm gonna need your help. So look out for voting and any idea suggestions, chuck my way, because if I love it, I will end up doing it. All right. I love you all, thank you so much. You have helped me to do a bunch of things this year. Bye. And on that note, all that's left to do is show you the TikTok I made to the Icarus poem. Here is what they don't tell you. Icarus laughed as he fell, threw his head back and yelled into the winds, arms spread wide, teeth bared to the world. There is a bitter triumph in crashing when you should be soaring. The wax scorched his skin, ran blazing trails down his back, his thighs, his ankles, his feet. Feathers floated like prayers past his fingers, close enough to snatch back. Death breathed burning kisses against his shoulders where the wings joined the harness. The sun painted everything in shades of gold. There is a certain beauty in setting the world on fire and watching from the center of the flames. 
once again, Jelly Spoons, thank you to anyone and everyone who has ever supported me on Kofi or any of the crazy people who are doing me monthly support on Patreon. I absolutely love you all. You are responsible for this chaos and I think that's a good thing. Uh, upcoming next, obviously, is my February Lucian cosplay and uh, you may have seen I got distracted by doing another one at some point from Cursed. So yeah, there will probably be more distractions at some point. Um, I love you all if you have stuck around to the very end of the video. Thank you very much. And if you would like to be responsible for putting more chaos in the world, check out my Kofi and my Patreon. Goodbye!